You are at DeSoto West Middle School. Middle school, uh, I mentioned in the book again. This is where I got held back my seventh grade year, my first time getting held back at this high school, my seventh grade year. Uh, this, and that same year, I believe my mom passed. That's when she passed. My blood mother. And uh, I did I believe that did have a lot to do with uh about me falling in uh I guess I can say I, I felt a little depressed. I didn't know I was depressed at the time. I don't think I was depressed. But I, I think about it and I can't false claim myself and say that I was depressed about it. Uh, I wasn't depressed at the time. You know, I understood. Uh, but all throughout, I'm not saying that I'm depressed about my mother passing, but I said that, you know, it had a, it had a lot to do with, uh, it was a lot going on that year. And uh, I went to summer school and I ended up still failing. And uh, I went to summer school and then uh, I was just a couple of points short couple of points short, maybe two or three, four points short. Uh, I still, uh, I remember the teacher that failed me. And uh, it was just one one paper. I was the last one in the room. Oh, you can't go out this way. I was the last one in the room. And, you know, still taking my test. And I think she wrote a zero on it. And she called my dad and told me that I have to be retained. And at that time, I didn't know about other schools and, you know, about transferring into my aunt. My aunt, she told me about the school. And it's a lot of people that, that really, I, I don't show it a lot, but it's a lot of people that have uh, helped me along the way, you know, along this path. You know, I'm not the only one that's doing all this. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that and know that, you know, I had family to back me up. I had people in my corner you know, that helped me, you know, uh, when it needs to be helped, and I want to be able to be able to do the same for uh, the next generation, you know, that's coming up, so applying myself now, you know, getting more serious about life, I, I was, like I said before, back at Dallas Cam, when I went there, I got, uh, you know, I was real determined to graduate, I knew I had to graduate, I didn't know, I said, how, however long it take, I was going to, I was determined to graduate, so that's what happened, uh, you know. And uh, that was also a lot of learning lessons. So we just gonna go ahead and go to another site. Uh, we still, we back in DeSoto. So, uh, you know, I told you this is where I did most of my growing up and everything. So, uh, you know, this is one of those schools where you know, uh, that, that, that kind of, it, it did, it do something to you, you know, when you get held back, you, you feel like you, you drop your rank, you know, your rank drop, and you with the younger kids, and, and you look real uh, funny to them, you know, because now you, you're getting held back, and, uh, you know, I, I also mentioned my producer, the producer I did uh, the Crisis Foundation with Keith, he got held back the same year, ain't that a coincidence? And we doing music to, together now. And uh, I said I was gonna call Key, I'm gonna call him, text him now. He got some new equipment and everything. So we ended up talking to him and uh, about it. But uh, I mean, not about it, but <laughs> I just got finished listening to some of those songs I had uh, that I had recorded. But uh, yeah, yeah, man, this is one of those uh, schools too where, I, you know, a couple of turning points I mentioned in the book. And, uh, you know, but we're going to the next site now. All right, I think about the son of the kids getting out of school right now. This is a high school, man. This high school is like a college to me. Uh, a lot of freedom at that time, you know. There's a lot going on. And uh, we just passed by. Yeah, this is, I had to transfer, actually, I had got held back here in my sophomore year, sophomore year, and uh, that's where I had to transfer back to Dallas again to get my, uh, to get back to my right grade, to get 
back in my right grade. I didn't know that this school was an uh, academic school, you know, a prep school. Actually, it's an international school now, so uh, I, I really didn't even understand at the time where I were until later after I left. You know, uh, you know, this is one of the top schools for uh, sports. And uh, I'm just now figuring that out about scholarships and things. It's like that, but uh, yeah, it was a good, it was a good, that was a real good experience, also. Uh, you know, that was a real good experience, I can say, man. I, I like being around, you know, plus being around here, you know, uh, you know, being around like minded people is real good, you know. You, you don't, you're not always the person that everybody looking to for answers over here, you know, everybody after the same, not the same goals, but everybody trying to be something, you know, everybody trying to do more with they self, you know, over here, that's how it was, and, uh, you know, I like being around that type of environment, you know, that, that really rubbed off on me a lot, you know, uh, taught me a lot of hard work, you know, taught me some things, uh, so I went privileged, uh, well, privileged, you know, to be, you know, over here, so I, I start figuring that out, you know, uh, like I said, I was young at the time, I, I didn't know what kind of questions to ask, the right questions to ask, and things, and now, that, you know, now just about asking the right questions, talking to the right people, you know, uh, being around the right people that want, want you to, and they want to see you do good, you know, so that's what that's all about, you know, we headed to another site, where I had graduated, Dallas Kid Academy. And uh, this school right here was a good school. They got me my credits. So uh, when I got held back, I wanted, uh, when I got held back, I would go in, but I think they have me in school right now. So, you know, I got held back, Dallas, Dallas Kid Academy. Uh, this is the school. This is the school where uh, I graduated. So, let me just go back up. This is the school I graduated. Passing through. So, this is the school. Uh, uh, going back into the auto autobiography book, I explained uh, you know, my situation. Uh, where I had to transfer from this auto high school to, uh, to Dallas Ken over here at Pleasure Grove. And uh, it, 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 really met, it really met my goals, the goals that I, I was looking to do. And, uh, you know, and uh, they skipped me back into my right grade. I got my credit up. I was determined to, uh, I was determined to, uh, to get my diploma. You know, that's when I started getting more serious about life and everything. So I had my mind made up. I rode the bus out here, the city bus, and I uh, eventually worked to get my first car and everything. So it, it worked out for the best. So we're going to head to a different side. Uh, it's ground. This is my first job. The school uh, helped us, provided us. Uh, with some jobs we can look at and uh, everything. So, just coming over here, I don't, these uh, package handler, I mentioned that in the autobiography inside the book. So, and uh, this job really, uh, this is where I really got my hands, a little in, uh, where I got my feet wet a little bit. And, you know, you know, in the work field. So, uh, working in the warehouse was my first job. And uh, you know, uh, unloading, unloading trucks, and uh, scanning trucks as well. So everything was good at the time. You know, uh, I I'd say I I could still work it now, but I say once you grow from something, you want to keep growing. You don't want to keep going backwards. You know, I don't want to go backwards. So I feel like I need to keep going. That was uh, something for me to do. 
in high school at the time. You know, a lot of people say, well, you could have stayed, maybe you would have got a promotion and things, but, you, you, you know, you just, you know, I heard that a lot. I'm I, not I just pointing out one thing or two, and that's a, that's a good, that's a good, uh, yeah, that, that is good, though, because I could have stayed and everything, but, uh, Pull over because there's somebody behind me there. Okay, but yeah, they could have stayed. Uh, but yeah, uh, being here, being here was a good experience for me, good work uh, for me to get in the work field. And, uh, you know, I met a lot of people here too as well, but it, it wasn't the start of this really getting strong with the Lord and, you know, uh, you know, it was it was good. It was good. It was still a learning process here. So you, you see a lot of things. You see a lot of things. So they still hire and package handles uh, now. You know, uh, but yeah, uh, this this one of those this my first jobs. You know, coming from high school. You know, working here, providing me with the needs and responsibility. And, and, you know. A little more uh, dedication and things, uh, you know, paying my car off, you know, paying things on my own as a young adult uh, growing up. And, uh, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't really regret anything, it's just sometimes you, you want it to do a little bit more. I think that's the reason why things do happen because you be you still hungry for it. So you, you end up uh, you still be hungry a little bit. So you you've been hungry and now now you got more hunger to want to do even more. So everything happens for a reason. It's inside the book. And I'll just stop and read real, real quick uh, to back in the clock real quick. But uh, we're gonna head to the next site. Metropolitan Baptist Church. And uh, this is the church I grew up at also. This is where I got my experience and this is where I first got uh, baptized here. I should come with, I know it's Wednesday, so they probably had Bible study today. Uh, somebody might be in there. Uh, but yeah, we just coming here. Like I said, I didn't want to come in. Like I said, I'm gonna have to come visit because I haven't been here in a while. And, uh, you know, I've been at, going to this church pretty much all my life since I was young, probably at least five years old or something, or uh, so. But, uh, yeah, man, it just, you know, I mentioned in the book, you know, all the people here, you know, family, friends, church family, uh, you know, I s still talk to today, you know. And, uh, you know, it's amazing, it's amazing. How God, you know, use you, you know, in such a way. But uh, yeah, this is the church I grew up. This is the church I got baptized. I first got baptized. I told you when I was about eight years old. And uh, it's a great, it's a great church. It's a great church. It's just God, just you know, Lord, He'll move you somewhere else. You know, you just. Follow his lead, and you know if he tell you you have to go, you know. Uh, well, if you if he tell you to, you know, if you feel that he's leading you somewhere else for a different purpose, then that's what you have to do, you know. So it's a lot of reason. I don't. I still don't even think I mentioned to them that I, I left the church. You know, I think I just stopped going. And, uh, you know, I, I go to the Potter's house now, so that's my new home church. Uh, the Lord has made me there, and I feel it strongly, uh, you know. So, I mentioned in the book, this is a very important place as well. Uh, you know, my faith in everything has grown here, started here. You know, this is pretty much where it all started my walk with God, you know, uh, I'm blessed. And I had a perfect and good childhood, uh, a real good childhood, man. I, I'm so blessed to have uh, the Christian parents the way I had it. You know, I see everybody didn't 
don't have that. So, you know, uh, more is required out of me because of that, you know. So more is required out of me. I, you know, much is given to much. Much is required to much is given, the Bible says. So I feel that, you know, I'm blessed and privileged to have that. So it's, you know, for me to uh, step up and actually act accordingly in the way, you know, but everything, you know, it's, it's, it's connecting the dots and seeing everything. Now, uh, a lot has changed here. I see it's a new minister, Frank Cotton. Oh, Rem Cotton, yeah. See, I have to come back, man. I'm, I, I have to visit, man. I, I'm just now getting back out, you know, about me studying for the military now. So I'm still getting myself together. So I, I, I kind of had to kind of shut myself in to learn more and discover myself and discover what God has given me so I can use it out here. So it wouldn't be a waste of talent, waste of gifts. You know, I want to do what he set me out to do. So that's exactly what's taking place. And uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing. It's, this is, has been very good. And uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's about it. So that's the specific for this site here. And uh, I'm going to move on to uh, another site. All right. Thank you. Okay, you guys, we just summed up uh, today, summing up the autobiography and visual, and uh, video, visual tour from the book. Uh, uh, just wanted to make sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure we get that stuff done. And, uh, yeah man uh that pretty much sums up the book so other than that you just want to uh check the book out and it's coming soon I'm still revising it i might end up revising it because you know life still goes on and uh you can't see everything you can't uh figure everything out that's going on in your life right now but if you got some pieces right now, then I like to go ahead to do that because I believe that this is helping me still understand myself and, and help others understand a lot too. And, and, and they also can learn from your story and everything. So, uh, you know, it's just, I believe it's going to be a good first uh, Later on in the future, I might, I might uh, revise it, you know, revise it, edit it, uh, and critique it a little more. But uh, it's coming out sometime this month. It'll be coming out sometime this month, so we we'll be looking for that. Uh, and it's, it's going to be a really good uh, so, uh, it's a good book because it's, it's a true, it's a true, uh, based off your life, so it's based off your life, and, uh, it's gonna be true, so you can see, uh, you can see it coming, but yeah, that's pretty much how, how I want to sound up, and, uh, and make sure, you know, it's published by the right people, and, uh, whatnot, so, it's going to be published. I mean, uh, it's a guy I know. It's, and then the thing about it, I read to a guy, he's an Uber driver, Brother Ray. Brother Ray has his own publishing company. He publishes his own books. And uh, he, he's uh, a well-suited well well guy to, uh, you know, uh, and I, I, it's just it's something, you know, when you just come and start meeting people, you know, just out of the blue. The right people come across you, so that's the worst thing you want to know. So, yeah, uh, but anyway, that's what we're going to get to the end of the world. And, uh, uh, that's, what, that's what's going to happen. So, you're going to see a lot of stuff in it and uh, read a lot too, right? It's not, a, it's not a long book, but I don't read it. It's not a long book. Uh, so, 
so you'll end up seeing them reading it. Should be on E digital, digital, and you can I'm also get a hard copy. So we're gonna get a hard copy. Of this, uh, that's what we're gonna have. But anyway, that's how it's gonna be.